Welcome to the S&D Diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? Do you have a thimbleberry pie? Sorry, there haven't been thimbleberries in Thimbleweed County for years. Your Uncle Chuck, rest his soul, ate every last one of them. <laughs> he did like his thimbleberry pie. I changed my mind. I'm not hungry. Later, Dolores. Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Ricky, you make such great thimbleberry pie. Can I get one? I'm sorry, hon. I'm out of the pie making biz. Strictly tubes now. Oh, no. I have a problem then. In order to hear my uncle's will read, I need one of your famous thimbleberry pies. Well, in honor of your Uncle Chuck, I'd make an exception. But there just aren't any more thimbleberries left. Your uncle had them harvested to extinction. No more thimbleberries? It's sad, isn't it? The last thimbleberries were spotted out in the old forest. Not the forest. I always hated it in there. Yes, pretty spooky. No one goes there unless they have to. People have been lost in there for days. Days? And I heard some never make it out alive. It's true. I've heard those stories, too. And then there's the old bear problem. So... First thing, you'll need some thimbleberry picking gloves. You know how those thorns can leave you breaking out in welts. I just happen to have an old pair I could loan you. Thanks! They're Ricky's old thimbleberry picking gloves. It's a puddle full of muddy water. It's a thimbleberry bush, full of berries. It's a cup of delicious, freshly picked thimbleberries.
Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Take it. It's another sample from the traveling animal repellent salesman. It's Main Street. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? I have the thimbleberries. Can you please make me the pie? You found them. Good for you. And no welts. I was very careful. And also, your gloves. Won't be needing them now. Thank you. I'll go make it now. Won't be a jiffy. Here's your thimbleberry pie. Exactly how Chuck liked it. Thank you. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. Mr. Balowick, here's the freshly baked thimbleberry pie. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. The final one is to read the will in your Uncle Chuck's opulent tomb. I'll meet you there. Well, my family will wait right here until you've opened the tomb, Dolores. Hurry along. We don't have all evening. Poor Chuck, he needs his sleep. The heavy wrought iron gate to Uncle Chuck's tomb is closed, but I see a switch inside. It's a door. It's an elevator. The closed elevator door. Shut up in there! The Caligo... Cutting-edge computer technology. It's a bunch of boxes and lines, probably something to do with game design. Can I have some, you know, cake? This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. How about, I'm, you know, hungry? I can't waste a slice of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, okay, sorry. Thanks anyway. 
please, can I have some, you know, cake? I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. How about Clara said she wants some, you know, cake? For Clara? That changes everything. For her, I'd do anything. Here, take a slice. Just make sure you tell her it's from me. Thanks. I'll do that. See you soon, Virgil. Delicious cake made especially for ghosts. It's an Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Would you like this, uh, you know, ghost cake? That's just normal ghost cake. Ugh. I only eat ice cream cake. Bye, Clara. Voila, now it's ice cream ghost cake. It's just the flap doodle again. Would you like this, you know, uh, ice cream ghost cake? Oh my, you shouldn't have. That's so kind of you. Actually, it's from Virgil. I think he, you know, likes you. Really? Well, I never. That's delightful of you to deliver it. Thank you so much. I feel much better already. Now, what did you want to ask me? Who put Xavier, you know, in charge? No one. He just arrived one day, and the next thing I knew, I was on boring elevator duty. He's a fustalugs and a plasmaniac too, but no one will ever challenge him. You seem like someone who won't take guff from anyone. Maybe you can. Well, I don't know. I'm not really the type, you know. We... So, Clara, do you know how you died? I was dancing at the hotel ball with my husband, and then I felt a horrible pain in my side, and I woke up dead. I was in the hotel too, I think. I just remember a flash, and then I woke up dead. I think we were all murdered in the hotel. There is something creepy about this place. Can I... But you know, please go to the penthouse now. Oh, right. I'm tired of listening to Xavier, that old fustalugs. Maybe you can figure out how to get rid of him. Oh, you know, that sounds pretty confrontational. I don't know. <laughs> don't be so pigeon-livered. You should stand up for yourself. Oh, okay. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Good. It's decided then. Just push that penthouse button for yourself when you're ready. I won't stop you anymore. I can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. I feel warped just looking at those strange runes. They like have some sort of, you know, power over me. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. Better than the view from the balcony. Stay away from my crystal. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never get it. Sorry, you know, to bother you, Xavier. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, if you were to get it, and only hypothetically, because you will never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. 
Okay, hypothetically, you would just take it into my secret room, and you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Stay away from my crystal. Stay away from my crystal. The crystal is impervious to your pathetic attempt at chilling. You'd barely stop ice cream from melting. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. The door to ThimbleCon! By the power of Grayskull, I greet thee! What the f*** is worth doing at this stupid con? We have a Ransom the Clown look-alike contest happening soon. Uh, who f judges the Ransom look-alike contest? Me. It's one of the honors given to the door guard every year. But before you ask, I will not accept bribes. How late is this con open? We're open all night. Stop by any time. So, uh, what are the prizes for the Ransom Lookalike contest? First prize is a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. Second prize is a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. Third prize is an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. Who can enter the Ransom Lookalike contest? Anyone who thinks they look like Ransom the Clown. So, probably not you? What are you saying? I am Ransom the Clown! If you say so. I am out of here. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. I teased a guy to tears over D&D once. Okay. Good. Bye. I have nothing to say to a game nerd. I need my joke book in perfect condition before I enter the contest. I need to get into the factory to find evidence to clear my father's name. It says, no feds without a warrant. Hey, Spotter, you're in the wrong spot. You want me to break my neck? Be careful. Okay then, here I go.
Got it! Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Shut up in there! De Ready to face my adoring public and win this contest already. Thank you all for coming to witness the Ransom Lookalike Contest. We've got a great crowd here tonight. What is he, blind? Huh, <laughs> stinks in here. Guess, well, it looks like we've got some great entries. And some not-so-great entries. But I'll be the judge of that. That's right, I'll be judging the contestants as they try to make us laugh. First up, we have Corey. I'm Ransom, the jerk clown. It's Ransom, the insult clown, you moron. That's not a nice thing to say. Ooh, that's some cape you've got on there, kid. I bet your mom made it with love. I hope there's a Batman look-alike contest for you soon. You definitely win. <laughs> so convincing. You've gotta be kidding. That wasn't an insult. It was a crappy compliment. I don't like hats. Is that the only fact you know about me? Who are you? Why do I bother? You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The sheriff, coroner, and hotel manager are all distinct people and awesome in their own right. You should be thanking them for keeping the town running. I was amazed you aren't a bunch of fatzos. Fatso? That's an incredibly hurtful and vulgar word to use. It's not something that any decent people say in public. What's the deal with all these Tron machines? The Tron machines have saved our town countless times. There's no reason not to rely on them. Bunch of ingrates. Sounds like someone has to update their jokes. Now we have our final contestant, Corey. Wasn't Chuck the best human? Don't you think? Yes, and where's the punchline? Punchline? What are you talking about? I hold you all ransom with my jokes! Clever! <laughs> ransom, ransom, so smart! You're all silly billies! But you're still lovable! Oh, f kill me now! Mm, this won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is, obviously, Corey! Thank you! Cory wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. I'm going to make a cute fuzzy dog! But you can just walk into any toy store and buy that already! Second place is Cory! Of course it well is! Totally rigged! How can anyone compete with Cory? It's a pleasure to come second to his first! You've won a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. 
How exciting! Just like my hero, Michael Jackson. Which leaves third and last place to... What was your name, anyway? It's Ransom, you idiot! Oh, your name is Ransom, too? That's an odd coincidence. Pity your act wasn't very convincing. Ugh. Ugh. So third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. Congratulations to those who put some effort in. It's a crappy recording of theremin music. Big whoop. Shut up in there! New Coke is better than the old version! Shut up in there! Doctor Who has no appeal to Americans. Never has, never will. Well, now that's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Thank goodness you're back. Don't you get bored being stuck here for all eternity? The first 50 years are hard, but then you get used to it. New guests show up, and it's fun to figure out what scares them. I also love this new invention you have called TV. I love when one of the guests is watching Banana Banana Bananas. That show is so funny. Bye and good luck, Clara. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. What is that on the TV? Uh, nothing interesting. Back to duty. It's now showing banana, banana, bananas. What is that on the TV? Oh my, it's my favorite. Banana, banana, bananas. Elevator duty can wait. Well, at least for a little now. Who's that now? This is unbelievable! An alive human in my penthouse! Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her! It's a door, but with strange symbols on it! Thank you. 
the book is glowing. Mumbo-jumbo. Mumbonius jumbonius. Let me visit my dead relatives. Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. How much did Brother Chuck spend on this ostentatious tomb? It's a big electrical knife switch, straight out of Frankenstein. Now all three of Chuck Edmonds' stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. I will now read his will. I, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this, my last will and testament, blah blah blah, legalese here. Ah yes, it is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam, quiet please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? And that all of Fimbleweed County be plowed under, and a giant server farm be built in its place. You've gotta be kidding. What? Oh my. Ooh! <laughs> Doug likes farms. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. Oh, and this last part in tiny print. Dolores gets a Pillotron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as he'll ever get from Pillotronics. Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yippee! Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never! Come along, Peter and Chucky! We're leaving! <laughs>